Good morning, folks. We've got space weather, a cool shot from the James Webb Space Telescope, and a follow-up to one of the better studies of the last few years. Let's start with our star, and we're going to find the last 24 hours were once again relatively calm. No big flares, minor pops and shifts at the active regions, but not much else. We do have enhanced solar wind in the forecast for the middle of the week, as the stream from that central coronal hole is likely to impact the Earth. But otherwise, it is a waiting game to see how the other active region sunspots perform. There are numerous groups, but they are a bit smaller, have low to moderate complexity, and present only a minor watch for the coming days. We'll have our eyes on those on the plasma filaments and again on the solar wind and geomagnetic conditions in the coming days. But up next, we are off to deep space. This is a shot from the James Webb Space Telescope of the El Gordo Cluster. It's a dense neighborhood of galaxies, and this is probably the most detailed look we've ever had at the infrared spectrum of this region. The larger ones are getting their circumgalactic material revealed as they re-emit light that was absorbed at higher energies. Top story today follows up one of the observer's favorite stories of the last few years. The preceding study went over the magnetic conjugacy and L-shell spread linking fault systems on opposite hemispheres. If you recall, it detailed not only how the planet is electrodynamically interconnected, but also how geomagnetic events may influence tectonic processes. Now, we've got even more of a reason to think so with the molding of the crust apparently tied to the geomagnetic field. This obviously points a finger at the sun and geomagnetic field in terms of changes in earthquakes and volcanoes, but it also brings back the concept that major mantle heaving, mountain creation, land rising, land sinking, and new fault lines are on the table as Earth's magnetic field is changing in a major way right now. The magnetic pole shift, the geomagnetic excursion, not to mention the earthquakes and volcanoes expected during the zenith of that shift. Veteran observers and those who have our books or watch the playlist, bet your mind is spinning with possibilities at the moment. Mine too. We greatly appreciate your support. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.